morning knitters welcome to recreational knitting podcast vlogmas number 22. i can't believe we're three days away from christmas day that's kind of wild to me um those of you that have found this channel through vlogmas welcome glad to have you here i'll just give you a brief uh history of this channel <clears throat> we are a couple that are traveling the United States in our RV while I knit. <laughs> we left in from from South Florida in 2019 in December 19th. So we've been doing this for three years now. Um, we are currently in Charlotte, North Carolina, headed home to South Florida. But at this point, we're having physical therapy and my husband will be having surgery January the 11th. He, um, yeah, on his knees. We've, you know, old jock syndrome and, you know, too much aerobics. I'm just saying, you know, exercise kills. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. And those of you, you the, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. let's try this again. Those of you that have been here a while, I thank you for returning. Um, and if you haven't done so already, if you could do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. The comment of yesterday was, "How? what is your high temperature? And most, a lot of you left, what was your high temperature last, uh, last evening? Um, and if you haven't done so, go back to that video and check it out and leave what it was yesterday. And then today's comment, you can leave whatever comment you, you choose. But one of the things that I'd like to know is how cold is it where you are today? At least in the United States and North America, we're experiencing some very cold uh, weather coming across the plains, I think, as we speak, and high winds and a lot of travel is going to be interrupted. If you're one of those people that is traveling by plane, uh, I hope you are where you are supposed to be by now. And if not, I hope your flight gets off the ground and safely to where it's supposed to be. It's going to be a mess. I. Um, our niece works for United Airline and she sent a text and said, oh no, this is going to be a terrible couple of days. So, anywho, glad that you're back. Glad that it's nearing the, the Christmas day and happy Hanukkah for those of you who celebrate. I bought my gelt yesterday. Um, I had forgotten, every time I go to the market, I forget to buy gelt. I used to buy these for my children when I worked in um, public schools as a speech language pathologist. And, <clears throat> you know, we used to play the game with the dreidel. And at the end of the, the, uh, the day, um, kids would take a little bag of these home. Um, that is just so that they could understand a culture that might be different than their own or the same as their own. So here's mine. There's only four, there's only four coins in this thing. I mean, really? Uh, <laughs> I'm used to the 10 pack. <laughs> so on to knitting, what you're here for. Administratively, we have surpassed the 750 um, mile. Yeah, 750 subscriber, and we're having a giveaway. And I will be pulling that name next week after the Christmas holidays. So this is what you will get. There is a handy tool, some stitch markers, lots of yarn, some minis. Most of this has wool content in it. I think this is the only one that does not. This is 100% cotton. Uh, some sock yarn, uh, another fingering weight yarn. Uh, looks like, you know, a nice variety. This is Zen 
yarn garden. Um, I've used this in the past and it's wonderful and there's some beautiful colors in there. I don't know whether you can see them. There's also some needles. There's a pom-pom maker. Uh, there's a lot of goodies. Oh, there's one of these uh, row counters. So this is probably at least $150 worth of yarn. And this is not sponsored by anybody but me. Um, this is things that I went through and I thought, okay, that is something that um, someone might be able to enjoy. And these right here would make great toes and heels or whatever you want it to be. But definitely um, this is, these are Lolo did it. Uh, we've got some Barocco here, Zen Garden, Cascade. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is either. But anyway, there's plenty of yarn there to for a nice present. Make sure that you're subscribed publicly and I will give you the rules next week on how you too can get that sent to your house. It's worldwide and I will be paying for worldwide shipping unless your country of origin will not accept gifts without, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, you're responsible for any tax or tariffs that would come your way. Uh, and you have to be 18 years or older. So make sure that you keep watching and figure out how to enter that. All right, administrative, one is out of the way. The other is that we will be having a make-along from January 1st to February the 28th. It's called hashtag whip be gone, hashtag W-I-P B G-O-N-E 2023. So we're going to anything that's on the needles as of December 31st counts if you make it finished by February 28th. So you've got a couple months. So those of you that are monogamous knitters, I'm just going to put it out there. You can certainly cast on a pair of socks. You don't need to do anything besides that. Um, and then if you're already working on a sweater, then you'll have two projects that hopefully that you'll be able to be entered. Most of us are not monogamous knitters, and um, that's why we're having this, is that hopefully this will inspire some of us to get some of those things going. It's very um, hard not to cast on new things. Ask me how I know, but um, maybe we can complete some things as well. The rules are down below, how you will put your pictures on Ravelry and the threads that are, are there. I know some of you have been posting, thank you. And it'll be fun. But December 31st is the day that you have at 12 o'clock p.m., you know, midnight, New York Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time, okay? On to showing you some knitting. When you do this every day, my goodness, it's really hard to show much progress at all, but I do have a little bit to show. I worked a little bit on my habitation throw. I was here yesterday and I put about four rows in last night, which I haven't measured, but it's a good 50 inches because it's smooshed on either side. And I think my, yeah, I think it's about 50 inches. So it's coming along. The For those of you that are new, this is all scrap. I did not buy an advent. And all sock fingering yarn that has been sitting around, really taking up space. And um, I've been wanting to do this since last year. And I thought this will be the year to do it. So it's coming along, currently putting some sock yarn in it. And hopefully you'll see a little progress tomorrow as well. I wanna make some cookies today and I'm going to film um, decorating them. They're sweaters and 
we're going to have ugly Christmas sweaters. And the Autumn League pullover is the other thing that I worked on a little bit last night. Didn't make a giant, um, where's my marker? Didn't make a, a giant dent in it, but I did, I did a few rows. So it's, it's coming along and I see that I must have done something there. I'll have to uh, rip that back and make sure that those, I didn't do a yarn over. Maybe I can fudge that and do a little whip stitch in there. This is what happens when you do things and you're not thinking. So this is, mm, mm, mm. got it at Knitpicks. I think it's called Oh, it's a recycled yarn, and it's 33% acrylic, 33% alpaca, and 34% wool. It's really quite soft. Um, I think it's going to make a nice sweater. And they have this in worsted, and they also have the same yarn, different colors, in a sport weight, which I also bought a sweater quantity's worth. Shh. That's all I knit on yesterday. We went out um, to the doctors who was sick yesterday and they didn't call me so that was a little bit of aggravation but um, I had to go to the market and that was okay. Uh, it wasn't crazy busy like I thought it might be. This close to Christmas, you know, people are, you know, like shopping for hams and turkeys and, you know, fish and, you know, whatever. And it kind of gets crazy. But it wasn't bad yesterday. We must have been there at a good time. Um, so we did that and we stopped at Starbucks and got a Starbucks just to um, give ourselves a treat. We feel like we've been... This this trip has taken its toll on us, I think, physically. I mean, we're three years older than when we started. But also I think that we've we're we're tired of of doing this and then having to get medical care and um you know, just the thinking of things that you don't normally have to think of in a house. Like we have to unplug from the water when the temperature is below freezing at night. Otherwise our water lines will be frozen. It's those kinds of things that um, are difficult to do in winter. This is definitely a, a summer sport. And um, unless you're in a beautiful, you know, summer climb. Uh, we loved Arizona every winter we were there. It was it was a, a wonderful, magical place. I love I love the desert. Um, and there's if you've never ever been to Arizona, truly it's it's a place in the United States. No matter where you're from, you'll feel like you've really been away. If that makes sense. So, yeah. So here we are in North Carolina. We do have family here. Luke's sister and her husband live here. So we will be spending uh, not only Thanksgiving, but Christmas. We're trying not to um, wear out our welcome. My brother-in-law's uh, family will all be coming from New York City and um, wherever they're, they're all over the place, Florida, Texas, so they will be here, all of his brothers and sisters. I think there's eight of them all together. And um, so it'll be a, a wild Christmas. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Lots of eating, lots of drinking, lots of laughing. It's all good. Um, have you started thinking about your 2023 plans beyond just trying to make some some of the works in progress disappear. Um, I, I um, have done my Make Nine, and if you don't know what Make Nine is, it's like a little <clears throat> tic-tac-toe graph, and you just place 
nine things that you either want to finish, start, make, um, learn. And in mine, I did an Isabel Kramer pattern. And I want to learn how to do brioche because I've never done that. And I want to make a colorwork sweater. So those are some big, big things that are on my plate. And then I, you know, I left my room for like a new pattern, you know, and socks, of course, and hat. I think a hat was on mine. But those are, those are some things that those of you who do knit um, Olympic style, probably have already started to think about so yeah so I uh there's not a whole lot that we've done today I go to PT again excuse me for drinking on camera I don't usually like that but I felt very dry um not used to the heat like this indoors and yes we have uh those of you that are curious we have a heat pump which will work until it's about 44 degrees outside and then it just blows cold air like most heat pumps do and then we have a furnace that burns on that runs on propane and that's for those you know real cold cold nights then we have this the oil-filled electric heater um, that really is remarkably, uh, it keeps us very, very comfortable. Yeah, it's we've been down in um, six degrees when we were in New Mexico, and that was a very nice addition to everything else that we had. It really kept us nice and toasty. Then we have a little <clears throat> thing I bought at Aldi, little heater, so, you know, little that you plug into the wall and um, we put that in the bathroom since the bathroom has no heat in it whatsoever. Um, you know, unless you leave the door open and, you know, the other air happens to get in there. So <clears throat> that's been a wonderful addition because, you know, in the middle of the night, it's rather chilly in there without it. So, yeah, we, we stay warm and we have, uh, you know, oodles of blankets and... Yeah, I have, I've made a couple quilts that we've we've used. We have uh, a Hudson Bay blanket that we put on our bed. And yeah, we're good to go. I'm hoping that you have a wonderful day. I'm going to cut this off now. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you find some time for yourself, either just to sit or knit or both and enjoy the holiday. Um, I don't know that this running around consumerism is good for any of us. And I'm hoping that you'll find time to reach out to somebody today that maybe you haven't talked to for a while, see how they're doing. This is a hard time of year for people um, with mental health issues. And it's, you know, it's good to reach out. And if they don't answer the text, give them a call. Just reach out. It's, it's a tough time of year. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have some ugly sweater cookies to show you. Bye now. Thank you.